Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to our Ramadan series, A Glimpse of Jannah. In today's lesson, we will be learning about what is Ramadan. So let's get started. Brother Ahmed, can you teach us what is Ramadan actually about? Well, Sister Zainab, Ramadan is the most sacred month of the year for Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, reportedly said, When the month of Ramadan starts, the gates of heaven are opened, and the gates of hell are closed, and the devils are chained. Ramadan is the most wonderful time of the year. It is time for reflection, doing good deeds, and spending quality time together with our families and friends. It's a time of celebration and joy to be spent with loved ones. At the end of Ramadan, there is a big three-day celebration called Eid al-Fatr, or the festival of the breaking of the fast. It is kind of like the Muslim version of Christmas, in the sense that it is a religious holiday where everyone comes together for big meals with families and friends, exchanging presents, and generally has a lovely time. Ramadan is a holy month celebrated by Muslims all over the world. It is the month in which the Qur'an was revealed to Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Muslims that are 12 years old or older fast during Ramadan, not eating or drinking anything between sunrise and sunset. Fasting reminds Muslims to appreciate their blessings and to help those in need and to feel the support with the millions of poor and hungry people all over the world. It is a time of spiritual discipline, of deep reflection of one's relationship with God. Extra prayer, increased charity, and generosity, an intense study of the Qur'an. Sister Zainab, when is Ramadan celebrated? Ramadan takes place in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. When the first silver of the crescent moon appears, the Islamic calendar is lunar. So Ramadan begins on a different date each year. Fasting means for us to share a little bit of the pain the other poor and hungry people go through every day. Also, to feel more motivated to give charity and help others who are in need. There's much more to Ramadan than simply not eating or drinking. Muslims are commanded to avoid during fasting hours, including eating, drinking, smoking, backbiting, and other more. Muslims are also supposed to try to avoid negative thoughts and emotions like jealousy and anger, and even lesser things like swearing, complaining, and the gossiping during Ramadan. Also, people may also choose to give up or limit activities like listening to music and watching television, often in favor of listening to recitations of the Qur'an. However, there are expectations which permit others from not fasting, including health condition issues, pregnant women, nursing mothers, postpartum women, travelers, children under 12 years old, seniors who are sick, or other mentally ill people. Although they are supposed to make up for the missed fast days sometime in the future or help feed the poor. Sister Zainab, what are some of the benefits of fasting during Ramadan? Aside from the religious obligations upon Muslims during Ramadan, fasting has so many health benefits from improved weight management, immune system, and lowering blood pressure, and improving health in general. Thank you, everyone. Happy, Happy Ramadan, Ramadan to all! Salamu alaikum.